Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And today, of course, you can see the top of the video. We have one from one of my favourite houses, and this is one from the Charuti. I think it's a, I say uh, Charuti. I think it's Charuti. Oh anyway, uh, this one is an 1881 Flanker, and this one is Riviera. Uh, so I'll have a quick look at the bottle. But it's completely see-through. Uh, the 1881 scratched in the back so you can see it through on the front you've got the name there you've got the 100 mils etc on the bottom and you just you just sort of generic uh, 1891 bottle gray, dark grey cap uh, so, and that's it and that's it I mean there's nothing much about the presentation that you haven't seen before from a uh, Saruti 1881 release so a quick uh, run through of the notes etc for people who enjoy that um, this was released in 2019 so it's not very old at all uh, a couple of years now and it's classed as a floral floral woody musk uh, I'll, I'll go with that maybe not so much floral always seems to suggest it's got a feminine edge and it, it certainly hasn't uh, but floral I, I could see because I'm going to say first it's, it's more like a dominant uh, like, um, fresh lavender to this um, but anyway so notes are uh, on the top it's the incense, bergamot, orange and mint the mid has got Aki Gala wood, is that how you say it um, and the base has patchouli, leather and uh, vetiver so off the top when you spray this you get like a um, like a fresh clean blast it's got like a again so straight into sort of it's got like a again a lavender like feel it hasn't got lavender in it i don't think but it has that and that kind of lavender that gives um a fresh fresh cream uh, cream fresh clean watery vibe that type of lavender it's got that kind of feel to it when you first spray it on uh you've got a mix of what i would call a bit of spice now it doesn't say there's a bit of spice in this maybe it's the patchouli or the agagala wood or something along that line giving it a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a tang i would say more of a spice and the tangy mm. it's guys it's nice it's clean it's fresh uh and a bit, a bit tangy so as it starts to dry down i made notes here um, you do get a very very slight hint of incense I mean but it's ever so slight now the freshness stays it, that's, how it, that's the dominant part of it uh, even off the top is how, it, how it, its life stays um, in its scent uh, but you get, then you get little facets of uh, backing it up uh, and, and the little facets are uh, the incense and this woody slight woody vibe um, a little bit of patchouli, uh, I think it might be that little tanginess, it's probably coming from a patchouli in this but you don't really get a patchouli as such um, the vetiver in this again is, is clean but it's again got a little bite to it um, I wouldn't say it was like that dirty like, um, rooty vetiver, this is more like a, your green grassy vetiver mm, but uh, again the dominant thing in this is a clean fresh um, I wouldn't say it was watery vibe it is on the top but because as it dries down you get these these woodiness coming through the vetiver the patchouli and a little touch of incense starts creeping in uh, but overwashed by the, the sort of lavender like freshness um, so it's, it's quite a complex I mean if you just sprayed it on you didn't really uh, take much notice of it it would just come across as a a sort of a, a clean fresh take on a, on a scent um, with just some little facets in there but if you if you if you like anybody like us uh, frag heads we like to dissect um, fragrances a little bit and dive down deep into them see how complex they go this is actually a little bit more complex than uh, people would probably give it due for uh, now and again like, uh, walking around I think, oh, just a touch of incense there you know just like and then you I'd be walking around oh it smells a little woody uh, and then you know I'd be walking around oh just a little sort of sharp uh, like patchouli hit there not, not in the more of like a herbal scent in a sense um, 
I would say in dominance wise if I'm looking at the ingredients I would say the woody musk part of it uh, the incense does pop in and out um, on the top it's more of the bergamot orange and mint but talking about as in general um, this uh, slight woody vibe uh, it says there's leather in this I don't get any leather in this um, so yeah uh, it, it, this one is actually quite hard to explain unless you've you've smelt this one uh, it's more complex than again I think people give it credit for uh, you don't hear about it much at all there's only within me and maybe a few others are even ever mention it really and I don't mention it that much uh, but as you can see I do wear it so why I haven't mentioned it till now I don't really know well, I think I did do a review years ago but I just got around to doing it again now this one um, I would say with that little bit of incense woody sort of um, sharp vibe it's got um, of tangy vibe it's got I definitely I would say this it leans more towards the masculine again women can wear what they want um, I think we're sure a woman could wear this as well um, there's nothing overly masculine about it but there is something a bit more on the masculine side with this one this you would think it would be advertised as more of a summertime you know Riviera um, high heat it does need the heat this one I will say it does need a bit of heat but in the high, really high heat I don't think it would go that well I haven't tried it in really high heat but the way it comes across with that bit of incense and the, the, the woods in here and the, the vetiver and that I don't think it would do too well when if it comes to really high heat I would say a cooler summer day for sure um, I would say uh, spring definitely um, it's got a, definitely got a spring vibe to it so spring coming into summer where it's still not super high heat but it's nice and warm I'd say this one does really well uh, again this does need a bit of heat for it to, to sort of work its magic and come off the skin more I've worn this throughout cooler weathers and it doesn't really last that long <clears throat> um, it lasts a fair length of time uh, but more so it doesn't project that much uh, simple fact is it, it needs more heat so you wear again wear this <coughs> uh, spring into summer where it's warm but it's not too warm this really does push uh, so the longevity is actually pretty good the projection is good if you're in a slightly warmer climate or time of year I'd say in the summer lighter on the sprays uh, and you, you, less is more with this one I think in the summer and it would just radiate and smell nice and, and fresh and invigorating but different as well uh, with the, those bit of incense in there and again it is more complex than people give it credit for um, including myself uh, I've worn this more and more and the more I wear it the more sort of complex things start coming through um, is it Saruti's best offering? no not by a long shot it certainly wouldn't rival in the scent for the original 1881 for me no question at all um, however it's one of their better takes uh, they've got some good ones the um, aqua forte one yeah, for me is the, the sort of number two uh, and uh, i've tried uh, a lot of them i've got a few called signature which is a leathery, leathery one a sport and so on and so on fair play um, but I would say this is probably a number three. Uh, you, you just got to give this a chance and uh, let it let it breathe a bit in the bottle. Uh, and more and more you, you do so, the more complex this fragrance becomes and uh, becomes more interesting. So overall, again, it's um, my sort of number three from the house. So it's not the best from the line, but certainly one to try if you've not tried it. Uh, it has got me a couple of compliments. You, you know, you just smell good today. You smell fresh, nice, clean. Um, it's, but there's more to it than that. Some people will just say you feel smell fresh and clean. There's something different uh, about it. Uh, one compliment said there was something a little different about that one um, in a good way. So let me know if you've tried this. Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, have you tried it? Not tried it? Uh, do you agree with me or not uh, about this one? I think it's a, a decent one from the house. 
I mean, would I rebuy it once I've used it? Probably not, because uh, I, I I like my number one and two the best. You know, I like my Aquaforte and number two, which is hard to get hold of now, uh, and my number one being the original. That's my go-to signature scent. Uh, so I will in, be enjoying this as long as I've got it. But I probably won't rebuy it because I've got my other two, uh, which I would reach for more, and I do reach for a lot more. Um, but I'm still going to enjoy this while I've got it. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it as always. Please leave uh, a thumbs up, a like in the bit down below, uh, and that would really help me out as long as, uh, as well as a uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That again would help me out quite a bit. So. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon on the next video.